What's up, Loop community? My name's Edge, I'm a Logic Pro certified trainer, and in this session, we're gonna talk about recording settings before we actually hit record inside of Logic. Okay, so uh, before we hit record, let's set ourselves up to record uh, to know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna head over to the record button, I'm gonna click and hold on it. I'm gonna go to record settings, and first off, you wanna decide if you wanna count in when you record. I do, I think one bar is pretty good. You can set this up to two bars or hit none if you don't want to count in when you're hitting record. But I think it's pretty good to set yourself up for a one bar count in before we actually start recording. Cool, so that's my recording settings. If I go back to record and hold on it, I'll go down to recording preferences. And in here, you can set things up like what recording file type you'll be working with. Um, usually if you're working with audio, it's a good idea to hit WAVE. Uh, there's a few other ones in here as well, but WAVE is pretty universal and one that you can use across a lot of different um, platforms. The other thing too is uh, when you're recording MIDI, what you want to do with the cycle region. Uh, the cycle region is something that you see when you are recording and you want to record over a section multiple times. When cycle mode is off and you hit record, do you want your recordings to merge? Do you want them to overlap? Do you want them to create a second folder of the same recording? Uh, by and large, I'm okay with merging. Usually if I'm hitting record over something, I either want to add to it. Um, and if I want to delete something altogether, I'll typically just delete the region. Same is true when the cycle region is on. We're just gonna set that on so we can start merging uh, things all together and start building on our pre-recorded sounds. So these are some pretty helpful settings to, to remember where they're at, both in the recording preferences and in the recording settings. Okay, so to record, there's a few things that we can do. Um, one is to actually enable the cycle region. You can see that right now I've got this lightly shaded gray area up here at the top. And if I click on this little cycle button over here, you're gonna see it's gonna turn it on. The keyboard shortcut for that, by the way, is the letter C. So if I hit C, it'll turn it off. If I hit C again, it'll make it a lot less. And you can adjust how long this cycle region is by just going to either end of it and clicking and dragging it to the length that you want it to be. You can see that when I do that, Logic will actually tell you currently this length is set to four bars. The left locator starts at bar seven and the right locator starts at bar 11. You can set that up for as long as you want it to be. Great. In this case, it's gonna cover the intro and we'll uh, try that out. Okay. So now that I've set up my recording settings, let's go ahead and start recording and see what we get. Now, there's a couple ways that we can record. One is that Logic is always listening for the notes that we're playing. And so there's this capture recording button that's really helpful. In fact, if I press play, um, you'll hear what that sounds like. And since I'm not actually recording, I'm gonna give myself an extra bar just to come in on. Um, and I'll press play, hit just a simple kick, and we'll see what we end up getting. Now, I wasn't recording, but because Logic is always listening, if I hit the capture record button, you'll see that it actually came in and gave me four uh, bars of just a kick. And if I go back and uh, press play, let's see how my performance was. Great, not bad. Uh, if I double click on it, you can kind of see that it's not 100% on. Uh, in fact, in some notes I came a little bit too early and some notes I came a little bit too late. That's perfectly all right. We can quantize uh, these notes by just simply clicking on the little Q button over here. Um, but you want to make sure that the notes that you've got selected are the ones you want to quantize. So I'll click on this uh, kick, I'll hit the little Q and you can see that all the notes then get lined up uh, directly onto their uh, closest notes. Great. Okay, cool. That's one way to record. You can use capture recording. Uh, I think I want to add some other notes on top of this. So probably want to add something like uh, a snare or a hi-hat. Um, so we'll give that a go. We'll give that a shot. Uh, but instead of capture recording this time, I'll actually do a more traditional record. So I'll hit record. Uh, because my cycle region is enabled, it's going to actually record from the start of the cycle region and we'll just go ahead and start uh, recording. So let's uh, add in a snare. Cool. 
And you can see that because we set our recording settings up, whenever we're in merge mode, it's just gonna add notes onto that region. And so if I double click on it, you can see that just like before, uh, it went ahead and it added in all those notes on top of the existing notes. Great. Um, now, another way that we can quantize is that if I select the region itself and press the letter Q, that'll also line up all of those notes uh, right then and there. So, great. Cool. And because I just added that one accent, let's see if Capture Record caught it. And it sure did. Um, let's go ahead and uh, we'll get rid of the second one because I just want the one lead in. Great. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just create a new track. I'm actually gonna duplicate the track all together. I'll hit the duplicate button. And that'll now give me the exact same track with the exact same settings. So if I wanna then add in a different hi-hat pattern, then we'll go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and hit record. Again, my cycle region is enabled, so it'll pick up from the beginning of the cycle region. And when I hit record, then we'll just go ahead and just play around with some different hi-hat patterns. Okay, so you can see that in this region, I'm just adding to that particular cycle region and maybe I want the choice of choosing different takes. So to do that, I'll go to my recording preferences and instead of when on cycle mode merging, we can just actually create a take folder. A take folder is gonna allow us to choose different types of patterns for us to work with. So I'll go ahead and do that. We'll delete this region and we'll try it one more time. By the way, the keyboard shortcut to record is usually set to the letter R. So if you wanna hit R, that'll also allow you to record. So you can see that when we do that, a take folder has now been created and that lets us choose which ones we wanna work with. I think that second one was probably a much better uh, option for, for us. So I'll click it and then I'll also uh, quantize it uh, to make sure that everything's lined up and let's see what, what that sounds like. Now I'm not much of a drummer, you can probably tell that already, but Logic comes with a bunch of built-in drummers that you can use to start accenting your beat. So you might have an idea for a basic kick snare pattern, but if you want to kind of build a little bit more on top of it, you can program it yourself, of course, or you can use drummer, and that's what we're gonna talk about in the next video.